Yeah. Well, well, like YouTube here. What we've got warrant out for? We've got an we'll outstanding immigration warrant. We'll talk about it in the vehicle. Okay? Got one outstanding warrant. Yeah, outstanding immigration warrant. We'll talk about it in the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> How's your luck, eh? You've got one night in. What about my stuff? What about my stuff? My we'll passport. Stuff. Absolutely insane. Get me a lawyer. Can you not tell me what I'm under arrest for? You're under arrest for having an outstanding oh warrant. I'm happy to provide you with all of your rights. Warrant. Yeah, for an outstanding immigration warrant. You should jump in there, please. Tommy. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Can I put these in the Yeah. Yeah, you put your feet in there. Thank you. So, oi. Calgary's fine. Fuck finest. Justin Trudeau. Okay. <laughs> Good. Fucking, oh, can, you, can, 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 can you put these in front of me? What is the charge? Free Can't speech. Why right not? What's he being arrested for? Why can't I put it in front of me? How much can I sit Tommy, did they tell you what you're yeah, being you arrested for? Yeah, you gotta sit down there, I've got an outstanding warrant. Okay, thank you. I can't sit, I can't sit down with my hands, come on. Calgary's finest. Step back, please. Calgary's finest. Thou shalt not speak against. Where where can I go to, to help him uh, get a lawyer and get bail? He'll have access to a lawyer. Which police? Which police? To, to APU. Could be going downtown to APU. <laughs> which precinct? APU which downtown. Precinct? Where where can I go to, to help uh, to help out? Which precinct? Going to Dallas Park. That's how you can help out. What's the screw that fucking kicking out? Yeah. Can I ask you who's made the order for my arrest? The minister's delegate. The minister's delegate? Who's the minister's delegate? It's one of the officers that we One of the what? One of the officers that we work One of the officers. Is that government? So, just a, on, uh, the director with the CBSA. A director with who? CBSA, Canada Border Services Agency. A director with the CBSA has signed, has signed the order to have me arrested. Signed an arrest warrant. An arrest warrant. <sighs> okay. okay. I'm guessing now what, and you look to now what, arrest me, you've left all my stuff there, my passport, what, you're going to deport me? No, there's, there's a whole procedure that we have to go to. There's a whole procedure? Right. Which takes how long? Roughly, um, how long do you how do you how long do you envisage I'm going to be in Canadian custody? It could be an hour. It could be depending on how this whole plays out. It could be I don't know. I'm not even going to presume because could be what roughly. I, I'm not what's worst case? Presume. What's worst case? Worst case is until we can get you removed from the country, which with a valid passport, then if you want to go back, then I mean it can be a matter of days. Where, I'm, where am I going to be held until that matter? So that's that's the conversation that we have to have when we get to our office. Is are you going to comply with any of the immigration conditions that we impose upon you? Um, and do we believe that you're actually going to show up for this hearing when we say it's going to? And are you going to comply with any of the conditions that we agree upon? If if we have, isn't it fucking mad? Isn't it mad how tough you get with immigration on the wrong people? It's mental, isn't it? You, you act like absolute spineless cowards as a country, letting every bloody goddamn fucking Abdul and whoever into your country. You don't know nothing about them, their criminal histories or anything, or their ideologies, and then you turn up mob-handed for me to give them a talk at a seminar. Well, it's rather ironic that you're talking about criminal history and you don't know anything coming from the guy who lied on his application about his criminal history. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Who applied for your electronic visa? My boss. Your boss? Yeah. Where did it, where, where, what did it ask? It asked you if you have ever been arrested, charged, or convicted of any crime anywhere in the world. The call to arrest asks you about your immigration history and other The answers to all of those were no. And it's normal, it's not, so it's normal, is it, for you to turn up the way you've just turned up, is it? How many people do you get coming through your border every day that you don't even have a passport? They haven't even got passports. They just turn up. And then you give them a house. I'm not, I'm not here asking for a house or benefits. Yeah, I got a question for you, man. Go on. Whatever you want me. No, I'm asking you, man, because it's a, it's a matter of respect, okay? Okay. So I'm willing to call you what you prefer to call. So what, what do you want to be called? 
Tommy. Okay, Tommy.